Well, as you know, the pandemic has been so stressful for so many people, and that can cause problems with sleeping. Absolutely. And here to talk more about that and how you can get some better sleep is Dr. Laura Saunders. Thank you for being here. I know I've definitely, I always slept like a baby, and the last couple years, and especially with the pandemic, it's harder for me to fall asleep. Happy Wednesday to everyone. Yes, so we're here to talk about sleep, and we've talked about sleep, about sleep a little bit in, among some other things, um, but sleep itself is really critical. It's critical for your emotional well-being, your mental well-being, your physical well-being, and most importantly, it's important for your immune system, and mm. we all need good immune systems right now. Yeah, Absolutely. It, it, it is. So are you finding that, um, are you seeing a lot more people, is it because of the anxiety, is it because of the change in routine, are you seeing a lot more people saying they just can't, fall asleep even though they're exhausted or stay asleep? So it's a little bit of both, right? I mean, there's, I think there's some things that are, that are fueling sleep difficulties. We are seeing lots of folks with sleep difficulties now. Um, you know, the excess screen time and the blue light, the blue light of screens affects melatonin. And we need melatonin is the hormone that helps kind of, you know, sundown us and set us to sleep. Um, it's, it's financial stressors. Stress is, you know, is a, something that really keeps people up. It's also less activity level. Less activity level. These cold, wintry conditions, people are not going out. We've got another storm coming in, right, Scott? So it's a lot of these conditions that get set up so people are not getting outside, they're not being active, and without that activity during the day, it doesn't give us enough for our minds and bodies to rest. And, and the changes in routines really make it difficult as well. Well, I was thinking, you know, we're not getting, I, I certainly am one who is not getting enough physical exercise. Physical exercise tires me out, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm not sleeping as good as I used to, is because I'm just not getting enough exercise. Mm. Right, and, and we talk about that with kids and, and even pets all the time, right? You know, your dog needs to run around a little bit before they get tired out, or your children need to be much more active and so that they kind of wear themselves out. So the more we need to, to be active, and, you know, we've talked about this, natural light. We're in, it, when we're inside all day, we're in low light conditions. We don't get the vitamin D. We don't get the stimulation that we need to then create restful sleep. So, so we need people to sort of get back on their game and really look at sleep and what the the skill we call we call it now sleep hygiene so sleep hygiene is those set of habits that helps you create quality and restful sleep yeah it, uh, we've all talked about before and a lot of us don't get enough of it but this is uh, you want people to set a routine you now nowadays you can sleep in a little bit later because you know one week the kids are in school one week the kids are not the advice for sleep hygiene is stick to a pretty routine schedule even on the weekends to get your sleep yes i mean yes uh, are people going to sleep uh, uh maybe go to bed a little bit later sleep in a little bit later on the weekends sure that's okay but to to vary widely hours difference to go to bed at 10 o'clock during the week and one o'clock on the weekends is really just going to mess up your circadian rhythm and your internal clock mm -hmm. so as much as possible kind of set a more consistent routine for yourself get yourself to bed at a good time the other thing is we know that you know with this pandemic alcohol use and caffeine use is also on the rise and those are two things that also really negatively affect sleep um, so it's limiting your alcohol use especially as you get closer to bedtime and certainly um, you know limiting caffeine after like four or five o'clock because it really does wreck with your sleep schedule. And reserve really quick, we only have about 30 seconds, but reserving bed for sleep, it shouldn't be your office. <laughs> right, it should not be your home office, it shouldn't be your school desk. Bed is for sleeping, so that way your mind and your body associates, associates it with sleep and you actually get better restful sleep. We need it for our immune systems. Well, Absolutely, thank you so much, Dr. Laura, for the great tips. I'm tired just through this interview, so thank you, it's working. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>